Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. We are on 69.3.1. Today we're running a little bit of uh, some errands. And uh, first of all, we're going to go to the Bottle Depot. So please stay tuned. Uh, I want to see how FSD beta is going to perform with these conditions. We did have a little bit of snow, but it's been clearing up so far. So we've got a few left turns and right turns. This is going to be an interesting drive. I would really, really be interested to see how it does. And yeah, let's get going. Okay, to be enabled. And yeah, not a very good start. Oh! And yeah, that was our first disengagement. I think it was going to stop, but uh, that truck was, uh, when I looked at him in the mirror, he looked like he was a little bit scared. And he started going to the left, so I wanted to disengage just to be polite. So yeah, not a very good start, but um, uh, the steering wheel went to the right first, and then uh, I thought it was going to glitch and just stop there. But then it started turning to the left, so that was very interesting. I've never seen that behavior before. Coming up to this right turn, no issues at all. So if you guys haven't done this yet, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me a lot and uh, it'll boost my viewers. I'm currently at almost 590 subscribers, so I'm close to 600. My goal is to reach 1000 probably in a month or two. Uh, thank you very much for all the support so far. Yeah, and here we go. Another disengagement. That wasn't good at all. Not really sure what happened there. I wasn't looking at the visualization. I was paying attention to the road. So I'm going to have to re rewind that and watch it when I'm editing this video. Very, very interesting. I've never seen that behavior before. Let's see what happens here. wonder what's going on. It doesn't look... Okay, it looks like we've lost... We've, we've lost FSD beta. Now it's back. Okay, I don't know what happened over there. It looked like we didn't have visualization for a while. Interesting. It looked like FSD beta kind of disconnected there. I think I've heard that before through other uh, testers and and I've read that on Twitter. But uh, but yeah, I never experienced that before. Interesting. This goes to show you that you always have to be paying a lot of attention when you're using FSD beta. All right, coming up to this left turn over here. Very good job. I'm sorry about all the um, the sound of the rattling cans in the back. It's just all my recycling that I'm trying to take to uh, to recycle. It's been a while. I'm going to change our speed over here. The full self driving or the uh, autopilot speed limit is uh was bumped down for my previous video because uh, it was uh, very snowy at that time and we had a lot of snow so right now most of the snow has cleared from the streets so it's not too bad at least we can see lanes right now so yeah not too good beginning um got two disengagements already um one uh, one was just uh a good to do like um, this engagement I really wanted the car before coming out of the parking spot to uh, allow the vehicle um, to to kind of drive in front of us so that we can uh, safely move on really nice uh, lane changing here immediately after um, uh, immediately after that turn it sometimes takes a uh, way longer time for that to do that so yeah, if you haven't really done that yet, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for my video and please subscribe to my channel, it'll help me a lot. My goal is to reach a thousand viewers. I'm currently at around 600. I really appreciate all the support and the comments that you guys give me. I always read them and I always reply. Sometimes it take a very long time to reply to the comments and suggestions, but uh, um, you know, this is I'm doing this as a hobby and um, yeah, looks like the car is slowing down right now. There's a little bit of phantom braking. I think it's trying to uh, take a left, uh, change lanes to the left over here. Yeah, it does want to change lanes. I am going to disengage and slow down. I don't want to miss this exit because then the drive is going to be a little bit more boring. 
I like all the turns. So, yeah, that wasn't good. It indicated and shaded the lane like um, uh, to be blue, indicating that it wants to change lanes, but it wasn't slowing down enough. Uh, I really don't understand why it doesn't. It needs to aggressively slow down or not aggressively even, like just slow down uh, gradually. Very nice over there with the yellow light. It's kind of slowed down and uh, and didn't... Uh, didn't like uh, break break very harshly. I really like that transition. It's very smooth. It's very smooth once we're at the intersection, but to reach the the designated lane that we need, the turning lane and all that stuff, it takes um, it struggles a little bit. I really hope they flush that out. Um, it'll be really nice then. I think I wouldn't have many disengagements. So yeah, three disengagements so far, uh, not very good. Um, two of them were voluntarily, I think. One of them was safety critical, I feel like, because, you know, we lost the FSD um, visual and uh, for for some reason over there in that turn. And that that drive over there, that section where I drive close to the house, and nor I normally never have any issues there. So. so, yeah, weather is nice right now. I think it's four degrees. I'm not sure if this is the proper or the correct... Uh, temperature I know because I, I park in, inside a inside a attached garage so it probably is re reporting the wrong uh, temperature right now it takes maybe like around 10 to 15 minutes for the temperature to to um, for the exterior temperature that shows over there on the top right to report the correct reading okay we've got the flashing green light and the cars try to try to turn Oops, and that was my fault really. It was doing the turn okay, but uh, I kind of put too much force on the steering wheel and it disengaged. Yeah, so when the, when the flashing green light turned on, uh, the car released the brake, I felt it, but then it didn't move. So I really had to, um, I, I waited for like a few seconds, but I know if I wait longer, someone's gonna be uh, honking at me from the, from the back, so, um, so yeah. Interesting. Normally it does that turn very good. I uh, have no really issues. So that wasn't good. Another, uh, I guess, intervention. Had to put, uh, had to uh, press the accelerator for a bit just to get it going. So signaling and then entering the filter lane. Very good. Really happy with that. Slows down for this turn. Like this driving behavior, it's very good. And then uh, pauses just a little bit for the yield, checks for traffic. Oh, we're getting too close here. We should be changing lanes. It does that, but it's very, very late. Yeah, not very happy with that, to be honest. It should immediately just uh, merge to uh, merge to the lane. Very nice early braking for for the car in front of us. I don't feel like it brakes late, to be honest. Even in winter conditions, and um, I feel like it does. I'll take that into account a little bit, not too much though. So as you can see right now, there's not much of visibility of the lanes, but the car is doing okay. It, I do feel like it's swerving a little bit left and right, but it's uh, still remaining in its in its uh, correct lane. And now we're signaling before entering this turning lane, which is very nice. And here we are. We chose the first turning lane, so that's okay. So we'll see how it does over here. We've got a protected left. Sticking to the lane very nicely. Really like it, very smooth. So I'm interested to see if it's going to miss this exit or not. It uh, also struggles a little bit on this road. Oh, so we do signal and we change lanes. There was a car on our right hand side, but then it uh, kind of took an exit over there. So that gave us, uh, gave FSD better the opportunity to um, to take this right turn. So we should be turning over here. Let's see if we get the indicator before the actual turn. No, oh, okay, yeah. A little bit late, but uh, you know, the, the previous versions didn't even indicate at all. So <laughs> this is a very good work in progress. So we should be taking a left over here and then another left. And, and you can see the trajectory, it's very nicely mapped. Very happy with this maneuver. Yeah, I would r rather be a little bit more closer to the to the pavement over there. 
but that's this is also not too bad so I'm okay with this very nice performance so far I'm really happy with the way it's driving all right we got the flashing green light a little bit of hesitancy uh, it's a little bit too slow to be honest but then it accelerates through not too bad person behind me is very impatient that they're tailgating me the whole time but uh, you know regardless I don't really care okay very good so we've got like this small tight eternal road over here oh a little bit of um, a phantom brake there not really sure for what so yeah let's see how it does over here and then it uh, kind of comes up to this uh, internal uh, street which is a little bit busy though to be honest I uh, never had any issues driving over here I've done it before but I never really recorded it let's see if it detects this 30 kilometer playground zone oh it almost detects it I'm gonna disengage to be honest because uh, there's a lot of cops over here sometimes that uh, catches catch people uh, over speeding so yeah, uh, it's probably our fourth disengagement in this drive. Yeah, this drive's not going that well, but uh, a little bit too far from the stopping line, to be honest, over here. I'm going to give it a little bit of a tap on the accelerator just to get it closer. Okay, we've got the green light. So we are coming up to a construction zone over here. These are actually two lanes over here, but it actually never detects. Whoa, yeah. What was that all about? That was so weird. Huh. Interesting. Let's engage again. And yeah, that's going too slow over here. Uh, not very happy. Not very happy with this drive. Holy, that was a very weird sharp left for some reason. I know it doesn't really like this road that much, but uh, I didn't really... I don't really understand what was that behavior all about. That's a nice uh, Mustang Mach-E. Let's try and engage over here. I think we should be okay. It's very weird because um, I'm actually loving this version, but uh, this drive is kind of changing my uh, my mind a little bit. Because uh, normally with these conditions, like in the uh, the earlier version uh, 2.4, does pretty good. And I really wanted to try that construction zone, but uh, we couldn't even get through it. Get through the start of it. So our bottle depot is coming up uh, close over here. It's on the right hand side. I just wanted to thank you folks for watching, and uh, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Help me a lot. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.